And that's right. And that celebration just wrapped up a short time ago. It included a fashion show. It included uh, several speakers who talked about a lot of the challenges that they overcame coming to a new country and starting all over again. So I was able to talk to the head of the nonprofit uh, who organized today's event. And here's what he told me. There are over 110 million refugees around the world that are facing difficult times. And this is a day that we need to focus on them, pay attention to what is going on in their life, and also work towards making a difference to bring peace around the world. And so that was uh, Walter Lamb, a refugee from Uganda who fled persecution back in the 1980s. And now he's the president of the local nonprofit Alliance for African Assistance, helping other refugees make lives for themselves here in San Diego. So this is the 23rd year they've held an event on World Refugee Day. Uh, people from all over the world are here uh, just taking the time to recognize and celebrate all of the different cultures coming together here in San Diego. Uh, these are people who have overcome a lot of uh, challenges and difficulties. Lamb says many fled violence in their home countries and came to the U.S. for a better life, uh, for safety. He says some are working as entrepreneurs, uh, some are working for the county, for the city, some are rideshare drivers. He says seeing them find success here in San Diego truly brings him joy. So back out here live, uh, today's event included a silent auction uh, to raise money for tuition as well as school uniforms uh, for Ugandan children. So just a lot of positive energy here today, uh, and the hope is that some of the stories that were told here today, the success stories, will help inspire others. Kelly Hassett, CBS 8.